Hi, here's Michael Leander. I'm right now in the wonderful city of Munich in Bavaria, Germany. And uh, I met up here with two really, really great people. They came from Innsbruck in, uh, in Austria. That, that's, I think, around the neighborhood where Schwarzenegger is from as well. So they are trying to pretend to speak English a little bit like Schwarzenegger, and you'll hear that in just a moment. But here's what's interesting and why you should watch this video. We'll be talking about something called try advertising Advertising, but not ad, try. try advertising. So let's hear what these two great people have to say. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Michael. So first, uh, tell us who you are and what your background is. Yeah, uh, my name is Thomas Metzler. I'm the founder of Kiero. We're based in uh, Innsbruck, as Michael told us. Uh, I'm a psychologist and also uh, started also business administration. And uh, we founded Kiero because we think uh, the advertising needs some fresh ideas and uh, fast-moving consumer goods are flopping all over in Europe and we have a new approach to uh, position them in the minds of the customers and uh, it has a lot to do with trying them because in our opinion the trial is the key to uh, market a new product because the product has to uh, get the people uh, enth enthusiastic about it and uh, with a, a, a new concept to do this and yeah that's why we're here. So you said trivertising. Could you just in a little bit more detail explain to us what that means? What is it exactly that you do for these fast-moving consumer good brands? Yeah, but it depends. Uh, uh, trivertising is connected really uh, closely to word of mouth. Because as studies show, uh, word of mouth is mostly uh, uh, triggered by a trial. So uh, we want people to talk about a new product and we also want them to adapt to this new product. So what we do is for uh, fast-moving consumer goods, we uh, select the target group they think the product will uh, be a success in, and then we send these target groups uh, the products in thousands of packets, and they can try it, uh, try it for free, and they get samples with it, they can share with their friends, and we want them to establish a relationship also to the company, to engage with the product, uh, to uh, be uh, integrated in the optimization of the product. And we have this uh, huge community behind and they discuss and optimize and talk about the product. And so we actually use the crowd uh, to help to market and to optimize the product. I think that's very, very interesting. Thanks a lot, Thomas. Let's just uh, see what your colleague uh, Miss King has yeah. to say <laughs> about this. So we'll just roll right over. Uh, there she is. Hi. Yeah, Hi, Stephanie. So who are you? Hi, Michael. My name is Stephanie King. I also work in Innsbruck. I'm a business uh, economist and a linguist. And since more than a year, I work for Kiero now and do these privatizing campaigns. Oh, interesting. So you speak like a uh, hundred languages or? Not a hundred, but <laughs> I'm trying to learn some more, always some more. I'm now speaking English, Italian, a little bit of Spanish, of course. I'm, I do a Swedish course now. And yeah, let's see what future brings. Yet some the more bar. languages. Yeah. <laughs> Tax uh, Good. Stephanie, tell me a little bit about the benefit of privatizing. When you look at the brand, mm -hmm. can, can you be more precise about what is it that I, as a brand, get from doing these privatizing campaigns with Kiro? Mm -hmm. Of course, Michael. On the one hand, it is that it's a very, very authentic approach because people start to try the product for themselves and they get more than just one product for themselves. They get products to share with their friends, to share with their family. They try it out together. They share it, of course, with our community. We have a lot of, a lot of people online who are connected to talk about the product. And on one hand, it's that it's this authentic approach. On the other hand, it's also the insights you get of your customers because people try it out, and of course, they think about what could we do better. What is it? What we like about the product? What do we don't like about the product? And that's what they tell us. So there's a lot of insights. A lot of insights that uh, could a brand potentially use that to improve products? Yes, of course, of course, this is uh, a possibility. We also had that with. We saw that with the last campaigns that there are a lot of, there's a lot of feedback going on in the community. They bring in 
good um, possibilities to improve the product and of course the company could use that, of course. What about it's pricing? Could it be used to test pricing as well or is that uh, something else? Yeah, we also had feedback about the pricing from our customers because they get a lot of information throughout this whole campa uh, com campaign time and they also get feedback about how they would would they buy it or wouldn't they buy it, what is about the pricing, should we uh, change it or should there be a special pricing for a special target group, of course, there's a lot of insight also at this point. Great, thanks a lot Stephanie. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was really interesting, in fact when I heard about privatizing the first time I thought what, what an easy decision to make for a brand to put the products to test and spread the words uh, about products. What I'd like to say is I, I'd like to endorse Kero. Uh, even if you're not currently marketing in the German-speaking markets, I want you to consider Kero if you have such plan. If you're already in Germany, in Switzerland, in Austria, maybe even Liechtenstein, the fantastic tiny country of Liechtenstein, go ahead and contact Kero. There should be a link down here to, to Kero's website where you can learn more. You can contact uh, Thomas Metzler or Stephanie King at the Kiro in Austria. Thanks a lot for watching.